Hello everyone, I'm Dimbo Padopoulos from University of Edinburgh. Object class detection is the task of putting a bounding box around each instance of a given class. Typically, we train an object detector in a fully supervised way by having humans draw tight bounding boxes in a large training set. This is quite time consuming and according to a study for crowdsourcing bounding boxes for ImageNet, it takes about 35 seconds per box. Weakly supervised methods, on the other hand, train from a set of images labeled only as containing a certain class. The core part of these methods is to localize objects in their own training images while training an object detector. This setting is much faster. However, it produces way worse object detectors. We propose here a new way to train object dictators, which only requires humans to click on the center of a target object, and we saw how to incorporate these clicks into a typical weekly supervised technique in order to localize object bounding boxes. Center clicking is much faster than drawing, and that's why our scheme reduces annotation time by nine times comparing to fully supervised case, and produces high quality detectors performing in a range close to fully supervised ones. We crowdsource Sendel clicks on Mechanical Turk for Pascal Vogue 2007 using this framework. The annotators first read a set of instructions and then go through an interactive training stage that consists of a simple qualification test based on some synthetic polygons. After completing it, they receive a detailed feedback on how well they perform. Those who successfully pass the test can proceed to the annotation stage. The mean response time was only 1.0 seconds per click. A typical weekly supervised framework alternates between two steps, retraining object detectors based on the current localizations and relocalizing objects in the training images based on the current object detector. Center clicks provide reliable anchor points for the full bounding box as they provide an estimate of its center. We introduce here a box uh, center score which represents the likelihood of a window proposal to cover the object according to its center point and the click. We use this score in every relocalization step together with the appearance. Having two annotators to provide center clicks for the same object can help us estimate the size of the object. To do this, we exploit a correlation between the object size and the distance of the click to the true center. As these errors are independent, we can estimate the object size based on the distance between these two clicks. Our two-click supervision scheme uses the center clicks in the relocalization phase to promote the selection of boxes compatible with the box center and the size estimated based on these two clicks. We saw here experiments of, on the popular Pascal Vogue 2007 using a faster CNN detector based on AlexNet architecture. You can see here on the vertical axis the MAP performance of the detectors and on the horizontal one is the human annotation time in hours at log scale. Our one-click supervision performs substantially better than weak supervision with only 3.8 extra hours of annotation. Two-click supervision doubles the annotation time but performs even better. Comparing now to full supervision, we reduce annotation time by nine times for two clicks and even by 18 times for one click at the cost of slightly reduced MAP performance. Our scheme produces detectors performing in a range close to fully supervised ones. Our scheme also achieves a better trade-off than our recent human verification scheme that was already very efficient. Thank you very much for your attention. Come to see me at the next poster session.